Animals infesting people's home is a safety problem to you, your kids, your property, and your pets. Often what can happen is animals will get trapped inside of the home and they will pass away creating a horrible smell and some problems. For example, this can attract pests and other animals to continuously invade your home. Furthermore, these animals can come out and they can end up attacking you or your pets or in general just creating altercations which is not safe. And finally, these animals can spread diseases. For example, raccoons are a rabies vectors species which means that they are at a particularly high risk for carrying and transmitting rabies. But how does home infestation happen and most importantly, how can we prevent it from happening in the first place? The most common way animals will sneak into your home is through small holes outside of your home. These can be extremely hard to detect because a lot of these animals can go through extremely small holes so you have to look very very carefully. Furthermore, rodents such as rats and mice can actually create holes by biting through areas which are potentially easy to bite through. For example, we will have this footage on the screen right now of how these creatures got into this home. They literally bit their way through this thing to get inside of the home. You should also make sure to check your rooftop. Rodents and raccoons alike are both great climbers and they can jump onto your roof from other platforms. In fact, even without other platforms such as trees, other houses, yard fences, etc., they can sometimes climb the home directly. Again, the reason for this is because animals like raccoons, squirrels, rodents like mice and rats, they're very, very good at climbing. So they will find a way up on top of your roof. So in addition to finding holes at the base and outside of your home, you're also going to have to search for holes on your rooftop. For example, oftentimes we will find little holes going to the attic and this could even be ventilation this could be something else but these creatures will find a way to break into it and then they will begin to infest your home another thing to check is your attic a lot of people have attics even if they don't realize it so the attic will often be blocked out because it's very small and it's just a small little area i know for me and one of my homes the attic was actually unaccessible unless we opened it up. However, animals like raccoons and birds can still infest the attic and they can actually create holes and problem with their waste by just leaving stuff there, passing away there, etc. So oftentimes people's attics can get in, uh, infested without people even realizing and again this is because they find little holes on the rooftop or they just bite their way into the attic and then no nobody really realizes that there's actually animals hanging out inside of the attic. Another thing you should check is your garbage bins. <coughs> garbage and smells will attract raccoons, rodents, and other animals from miles away. If you have trash sitting out or waste inside of your home laying around, you have to take care of your san sanitation and keep things clear Otherwise, animals will become attracted to your home, they will begin going in the area, and that's just going to prompt them to search for holes, which could actually allow them to break into your house. If you already have an animal infestation problem, such as animals inside of the walls, or you're hearing weird scratches and noises and stuff like that, or you have literally found animals inside of your attic or going in and out of an area, such as a hole that you've located on the side of your house, then we recommend contacting a wildlife removal expert like us, which is Wildlife Fix Team. We can help you keep these animals out of your home, undo the, the damage that they did, and then prevent it from happening again in the first place. Again, whether or not you've already located a problem or whether you're dealing with a problem, it's best to deal with it as soon as possible because as soon as you get baby raccoons and baby other animals inside of your home, their population will begin to multiply like crazy and they will begin to use your home as a literal base of operations if you will and the problem will continue to expand and expand. So if you don't already have a problem, we highly recommend just taking a look around your house, seeing if there's any holes, seeing if there's any entrances inside of your home, preventing that hole from getting bigger or blocking it out completely so that way you can prevent a problem like this from happening in the first place.
We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment what you thought in the comment section below, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're new here, hit subscribe for more wildlife related videos, and we hope you guys have a great day. Bye. They're out there looking for a home, and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.